uh, Bobby Mungin here with my husband Ken coming hey. coming from Alexandria, Virginia, and uh, we're so excited. Like many, we've been uh, isolated here at the house, and uh, this weekend we're celebrating our thirty fourth. Thirty four? You short? It was thirty four years. One hundred and thirty four. Thirty four. It was just thirty four. Thirty four years of marriage, and um, we decided to just like do something fun and uh, so we decided to do this video because I wanted to talk about Dresden and Company's new honey pepper spice mix. Now it's not new, it actually came out last fall, but you know, the great chef that I am, I'm just now trying it. So um, a dear friend of mine told me this is fabulous on Corn on the Cob. So this is the first batch of Corn on the Cob we've had this, this year now, right? This is, this is new. This it is. is. This is good. So this is going to be our take on the traditional uh, Mexican street corn recipe, uh, which is known as elote, and typically you would use uh, mayonnaise. We're going to use butter, uh, but yeah, we're going to use the uh, honey pe pepper spice mix with this and uh, give it a whirl and see how it goes. Yeah, okay, so first time opening it, and uh, so we're going to open it up here. Ken likes things spicy and I do not. So we're probably both gonna have a different reaction. So we're gonna pour some in here, a little, little bowl. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right, now um, we're gonna um, butter our corn here. We have our own butter, that looks fine. Um, Ken likes margarine, I like butter, so. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna butter up. Dee -dee -dee -dee. One of my favorite things is corn on the cob. And I was so excited that our local market had some. So this is a little anniversary What dinner. local market? You mean Safeway? Safeway, no, shoppers. <laughs> There's a different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got that. Now, right here in front of me, you can see this beautiful bowl um, from Dresden and Company. It's got um, corn in it. Now, this is actually, this is a dog bowl, but um, I don't have a dog. We don't have a dog, we have a cat. So this bowl is perfect for our corn. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, so we're gonna now um, sprinkle some on, and like Ken said, you can add mayonnaise to this, right? Mayonnaise sure. is the traditional street corn recipe. Uh, you use pepper and cilantro and things like that, but uh, this is gonna be our take on it. Okay, and, so. Uh, like I said, instead of mayonnaise, we're gonna use the butter. We're gonna uh, just put some on there. Okay, ooh, it's got a nice flavor. It's real robust. How can you tell? You haven't tasted it. No, yet. but I can smell it. It oh. smells really good. Okay. And um, you can use this. You can use this on fish, chicken, uh, potatoes. And it didn't say you can use it on corn, but we're going to use it on corn because somebody said it was really good on well, corn. Well, we're uh, innovative. Yeah, yeah. Right, Trend ready? setting. <laughs> okay. Okay, go ahead. First reaction. Okay. Mmm. Good. Mmm, good. I definitely taste the flavor. So I can definitely taste the honey. Oh. The honey, the honey comes out uh, like almost immediately, and the pepper. Is the there. pepper's coming out. The peppers, yes. The peppers there are driving up right behind it. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a hot. I don't like hot stuff, do I? So this is this is um, anything I that I taste with pepper in it, it's like. Woo. Um, I'm gonna call this one a success. It's good. Yeah, yeah, and you know. Everyone, you can order this through um, Dresden and Company uh, through my website, which is www.dresdenandcompany.com, Bobby Mungin. But also, we have a kitchen club. So, great spices like this and some of our jellies and jams, you can get as part of a subscription to our kitchen club. So, yeah, I think it's a winner. I like it. I like it. So good. Good. High five. Yeah, okay. <laughs>